Wilk decided to call the hospital grief counselor. He had a certain frankness about death. So which one of you is gonna kick it? Now don't tell me, I wanna guess. Uh, I'm thinking it's either you or you. Now you, because you're hooked up to a bunch of machines, or you, well you just have that look of someone who's gonna die young. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, you're gonna live forever, or not. I mean, what do I know? I mean, I'm, I'm not psychic. We did not like him. I think he's funny. She's delirious. Mrs. Wilk, I'm Dr. Hedrick. Now, it sounds cliche, but you're gonna go through what we call the five stages of grief, which are denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and finally acceptance. Now, I assume that you two have already entered into a conversation with Mrs. Wilk about what the process of dying is gonna be like. We were doing it right before you came in. Oh, well, oh, I'm sorry, then please continue. All right, we will, newbie. Oh, okay, well, well yeah, um... <sighs> okay. Death is like a journey. Uh, a journey in a boat, and uh, then this giant light shines down on your, your boat and, uh, and, and, and carries you up to the heavens. That was the ending to Cocoon. Take it away, Coxie. I understand that you guys spend most of your time fighting death around here, so it's, it's understandable that you're made uncomfortable by this. Now, if you'd like, I'm willing to counsel both of you. I was tempted to take him up on that, but then Dr. Cox said something. Listen up. We don't need any of your head shrinking. We? He said we. After all these years, he's finally made us a team. Yeah, Hedrick. If it was up to us, we never would have even called you. We can handle death just fine. We might even be going into private practice together. What? Easy. Now is not the time to discuss the Dorian Cox Clinic, much less the relocation to Jacksonville. Clearly I'm pushing some buttons here. You couldn't push my buttons if you tried. In fact, I have no buttons. Please think of me as button-less, all smooth, like G.I. Joe's nether regions. And by the by, this image is brought to you by my son Jack, who has been yanking the pants off of his toy soldiers and leaving them in provocative positions on my nightstand. It is just disturbing enough so that leaving the house, I'm cranky and less able to suffer fools. Which brings me back to you, the fool. I'm done suffering you, so go now. Go, go before you can write a book entitled Help. A large doctor is beating my ass, colon, the Lester Hedrick story. That was a mouthful. Anyway, if you need to talk, just give me a call. He seems strangely impervious to my threats. That annoys me. Oh, why are we still doing this? I've seen people in Mrs. Wilk's shape turn it around, right? She could totally turn it around. Denial. Yeah, it's not uncommon for people close to the patient to also go through the five stages of grief. It's not denial. She could rally. Yeah, totally rally. Oh, yeah. I mean, look at her. I mean, she should be in a vitamin commercial. How would you like to be in a broken jaw commercial? God help me. I don't care if it does give me cancer. I just love this fake sugar. If he keeps ignoring my threats, I, I'm gonna have to hit him. The good news is it looks like he has a soft face. I'll tell you what. I'd do anything if it meant you'd pull through this. Me too. Hey, that sounds like bargaining. That's the third stage. Oh, and by the way, I wasn't just hiding down there so I could pop up and say that. I, I was plugging in my iPod. Oh, hang on. Uh. She was a great old girl. She was. Hey! Accept it! Damn! Fight. The only thing worse than not knowing why a patient is crashing is being offered help by the hospital's grief counselor, Dr. Hedrick. Need help, old friend? Oh, yeah, her kidneys are failing. Give her a pep talk, stat. Yeah, no, uh, treating her emotionally, that would have nothing to do with her medical well-being. You know, maybe instead of lashing out at me, you should turn that anger gun at the person you're really mad at. Mommy? Just a guess. But, I mean, there's gotta be some reason you're always such a D-bag, right? D-bag. She's gonna need a lot more counseling, but we'll get her there. Well. Not we so much as me. I mean, your part, the bungling of the diagnosis, is done. I can't believe you can have a heart failure just from being sad. I mean, how are you supposed to treat that? 
He's coding. Get me a box of kittens stacked. Possible side effects of kittens include sneezing, tiny scratches, and erectile dysfunction. Wouldn't I be a great spokesperson for things? Could you do me a favor? Next time, just remember to take care of your patient emotionally. If someone's in a good place, they heal quicker. If they're in a negative place, well, that can destroy the body, the mind, and destroy anything. Even a relationship. Will you excuse me for a second? Oh, God, yes. Thank you.